So I'm buzzing along. I'm learning, growing, meditating, making this content, exploring the mysteries of life like I like to do and thinking, I'm really getting this. I'm really having these moments of effortless happiness. Then someone at work says something to me and I go off on her. What the fuck? Hi, I'm Edward. I like to explore the mysteries of the universe, reincarnation, law of attraction, everything fascinating that we don't quite understand. My ultimate goal is just to live a deeper, happier life and to have a positive effect on people around me. If you're interested in that type of thing, join me here on YouTube and my other socials with other content are linked down below. So I had a meltdown at work and I don't think rehashing your meltdowns and your negative behaviors, giving them more power is a wise thing to do, but because I believe every thing is an opportunity for growth, for me to get better. Uh, yeah, I decided to really think about it. What happened? What is going on? And I did some research about emotions, negative emotions, meltdowns, and I found some interesting stuff. When we're triggered by something, something someone says or some someone does or some world event, it's a revealing moment, it reveals a negative emotion that has been suppressed in our subconscious. As you know, everything is vibration. Negative emotions are low vibrational energy. When we suppress them, they are stored, that vibrational low energy is stored in our subconscious. It doesn't just disappear. And why would we suppress our negative emotions? We probably learned a lot of it in early childhood. We were punished or we faced disapproval if we expressed anger or anything negative. And when enough of that low vibrational energy builds up in our subconscious. It's like a pressure cooker. Eventually it has to come out. It's got to be released. It's like steam in a pressure cooker, you know? <sniffs> to be clear, negative feelings are not all bad. They carry gifts. First of all, they evolved to help us survive, you know, danger, we would get scared. Oh, there's a mountain lion. I'd better either fight it or flee, you know, so I'm going to feel this fear and this anxiety. It saved our lives. But as we continue to evolve spiritually, it also has gifts for us. It shows us parts of ourselves that are not healed. These parts of ourselves that are not healed, negative vibration, they're preventing us pro from manifesting the things we really want, those high vibrational things, love, joy, happiness. We don't want that. You've had that experience where something bad happens and then you're in a bad mood and then it seems like bad things keep happening all day long. You're drawing more bad things to you by your negative vibration, like energy, attracts like energy. So, to release these negative emotions, are we supposed to express ourselves, vent? You know, tell the person, you're pissing me off. Is that the way to do it? Well, not necessarily, because that can perpetuate it, make it stronger, make it worse. When I spoke out to the coworker that I felt was rude to me, 
um, it didn't help me to feel better. It actually made me feel worse because not only was I feeling disrespected, then I was feeling judged by everyone. I was feeling like everybody at my work thinks now that I'm unstable and then that was compounding it. It didn't help. So if speaking up and expressing yourself isn't the answer, what is? What I've been doing lately is welcoming my negative feelings. Do you recall the guest house, a poem by Rumi about welcoming in your sorrows and they bring gifts? Rumi said, welcome the dark thought, the shame, the malice, as they have been sent as a guide from beyond. So when you feel a negative feeling, you must embrace it, welcome it. I feel embarrassed because I did that thing at work. Normally, I would just want to watch a movie or eat some food or anything to take my mind off dwelling on that shame that I'm feeling. But instead, lately, what I've been doing is embracing it. Sometimes if I'm alone and it's appropriate, I just put my arms out as if to hug it and say, you are welcome here, feeling of shame. You're valid. I love you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I know that you have a valuable lesson to me. And the funny thing is, it, it, it feels a little worse at first. You really are feeling, feeling it. But then, strangely enough, after a few minutes, it just seems to sort of disappear. And it leaves me smiling. It leaves me sometimes laughing. So I continue every day to look at my negative feelings and welcome them feel them, love them. And I'm hoping that I can release a lot of this pent up years and years of negativity and begin to really feel those vibes, those positive, high vibrational energies that will bring me a better, happier, more peaceful, more joyful life, full of love, and all the material things that I want as well. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you can try the same. See you next time.